Hey gang, Jagalair here. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about a game that I had a chance to play recently. Uh, it's called Doki Doki Literature Club. And for those of you who know nothing about it, stop this video now. Go download it. It's free on Steam and on the website. And play it. Don't do anything else. Just go play it. Come back. Okay. For those of you who have played it, or for those of you who are like, meh, whatever. Uh, so it's got a basic premise. It seems like a uh, visual novel slash dating sim kind of thing where the choices that you make determine what happens along the way. Uh, it uses a very... what I want to see more of, which is the whole idea of the, the main gameplay aspect is that in between the days you're writing a poem and depending on what words you choose to put in the poem uh, it will impress one or more of the girls. It also has an open file system, uh, which means that you can actually uh, look at the files uh, of the different uh, game files in there and actually pay attention to how they change throughout your gameplay, which is kind of neat. You can also uh, delete different files and see some of that will cause the game not to work at all, and some will have interesting effects. The first character I want to cover is Monica. Now, Monica is the, uh, the character who has written the description on the Steam website and on the website to the game itself. She is the president of the Literature Club and she helps to kind of smooth out things uh, as they're going and set goals for the club as a whole. Sayori is the next one. She is your uh, childhood friend that has recently you guys used to watch school together and then she had been kind of sleeping in so she is always very happy, very outgoing, very bubbly, and doesn't seem to let a lot of things bring her down. The other two characters you meet actually in the literature club, uh, Natsuki is a younger character and she enjoys uh, manga and is generally very grumpy and very particular. But she does have the benefit of being an outstanding cook, uh, which is where one of my favorite lines comes from. The last character is Yuri, and uh, she enjoys books about uh, strange new worlds and things that get her to look beyond what's just on the surface. She's also very shy around new people, uh, but eventually comes out of her shell a little bit. The plot to the story is fairly simple. Uh, you are finally deciding to join a club. You end up getting suckered in to joining the club. Uh, mainly because your your lifelong friend asks you to stop by and take a look at it. You say okay, and then before you know it, you're surrounded by uh, four beautiful women that you're interested in, in one way or another. Then comes uh, the poetry. And the poetry aspect, I found... I want an entire game made of that. Because I found it interesting to have to create different poems to go along with the different girls and you had to actually read into their personalities because some of them didn't make sense and some of them did until you got further in the game and then you got ah now I know why that word goes to that person. The other fun part is learning about the girls. These are not your bubbly anime characters like they have issues and a lot of them are dealing with issues and it's it was really interesting to see where that was going to go. If what I've said sounds interesting, stop here. Go. Play the game. Come back. Watch the rest of the video. Because these, we are now going to spoil the crap out of this game. Alright, you're still here. So I guess that means you've played it. Let's go on. So as the game progresses, you will notice that each of these characters has problems. And the, the main one is that Sayori is depressed. The reason that your friend has been putting on, a sh putting on a show, being happy, but also being late to work is that sometimes she can't get herself out of bed. I deal with some people that are suffering from depression. And it is really hard for someone who doesn't suffer from depression to understand. Just because someone seems happy on the outside does not mean that they are not still suffering on the inside. They do a fascinating job of showing someone who is depressed and someone responding to it 
terribly, which is your character. And you say some things that, but you're in the game, you're a teenager. So you don't have, you don't have the life experience yet to know like, no, no, that's a no, don't say that. And if you don't change anything else, after you go on your date, and no matter what option you choose, Sayori commits suicide. You know it's coming. There is a sense of dread as you are approaching. But this is where things get weird. The game then resets, and it starts over, as if Sayori was never there. In the second playthrough, no matter what option you pick, you date Yuri. And then Yuri goes absolutely nuts and stabs herself. And you end up in one of the weirdest setups ever. And that it locks you into that weekend. So as you're going through, like you, you press spacebar to advance the text and like the picture changes between, goes to nighttime, goes to daytime, goes to nighttime, goes to daytime, and it stays there for a long time. And you, at first you're like, I don't, I don't get what's going on. But then you realize that the whole weekend, you've been sitting there. And then the people come in on Monday, and everything freaks out, and the, the world basically gets blown up. Monica basically deletes everybody else and just talks to you. And here's where, if things weren't weird already, they get on another level. Monica is falling in love with you, not the character, you. A lot of the things start to make sense. There's a line that ha haunts me now because I, I didn't get it at the time and I got it now. She starts going through and explaining things and then what happens is after all that, you can go into the game files, delete Monica, and then the game resets as if she's gone. So you go through that a little bit, and then Sayori's in charge. But Sayori, now becoming the president of the club, has figured out what's been going on. She, like, whoever's the president of the club apparently knows all. And then she starts to get really creepy, and then apparently Monica, who we thought we deleted, comes back and just decides to delete everybody. And that's the bad ending. There is a good ending. The good ending involves a lot of stuff, and you can go and look at a, a video and see how to do that. So my thoughts on the game. Uh, and there was an ARG for Team Salvato, uh, and it's uh, all the files you can do various stuff with. Uh, game Theorist has a great video on it. Um, I also, after I finished my run through, I watched Pro Jared play through it, and that was a lot of fun. I really would have liked just the, the visual novel dating side of it. I thought it would have been interesting to, instead of having these so stereotype characters in a dating game, to have the, the deep backstory of like, no, this person is, is horribly abused at home, so they, they run away, or this person is, has OCD to the point where if something's out of place, they get annoyed and that the person you knew for all this time is actually suffering from horrible crippling depression. I thought that would have been fascinating. And the game that it reminded me so much was a, another game, and it's a free game, Kadawa Shoju? I think I said that right. But it is it is a visual novel all about people who have disabilities. So there there's a deaf girl and a blind a blind girl, there's one girl that has no arms, there's one girl that has no legs, there's one girl that's horribly disfigured from burns, and so on and so forth. That does it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!